Hello, we're back with a brand new video and for today's disaster detail, I'm cleaning a filthy, muddy Land Rover Defender. And not just any old Land Rover, this one happens to be one of the most bonkers models I've ever seen in my life. It's a 6.2 Corvette engine and it produces 430 brake horsepower. And it costs the owner a figure in the region of £200,000. So first of all, let's take a look at the wheels. Now these wheels have got more brown stains in my backside after a dodgy curry. And it's fair to say that this one's actually been used off road. And it's not just the wheels, it's the messy flaps as well. So the interior wasn't as dirty as the exterior. So the main focus of today's detail is to get this mud off and bring back that much needed shine. So you've had a good chance to see exactly what I'm dealing with today and how difficult it's going to be. Obviously it's really muddy underneath but it's not actually too bad on top and this car previously had a G-Technic ceramic coating last week so it shouldn't actually be that difficult. So let's jump straight in with the video. So let's kick it off with step number one and that's blasting off the first layer of dirt off the arches, tyres, wheels and mud flaps. And by doing this you're going to save yourself chemicals which will undoubtedly save you money as well. So remember to get the worst of it off first as there are so many nooks and crannies that hold a lot of dried on mud. If you want to see more videos like this then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you never miss another video and if you want to know exactly every single product that I am using I will also put links in the description below. And for some of them I will also offer an exclusive discount with the Epic Car Show so don't forget to check them out as well. So what I'm doing first of all is applying AutoSmart Prestige XLS to the underneath of the car and basically what it's going to do is make life a lot easier for cleaning as it safely breaks down the dirt and because it's a cool day and it's not exposed to the sun it means that you can allow it to dwell for just a bit longer than normal so you get the best of the cleaning power right here. Now with the underneath done of the Land Rover, it's time to soak the tyres and arches. And after about 30 to 60 seconds, you can start giving it a good brush if you want to get that super clean tyre. So these are Vicam brushes, and if you've never heard of these, they're super soft brushes. They're perfect for using on the tyres. They're really good for using on your mud flaps and on the wheel arches as well because they can loosen off all the dirt. Now we'll put a link in the description below where you can get hold of them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is spray the wheels with a bit of wheel cleaner, let it dwell for a few minutes, give it a brush off and then give it a nice blast. Softest brushes in the world right here, look at that. Proper soft. The wheel cleaner that I'm using right here is called Yum Wheels and it's one of the most high performing and technologically advanced wheel cleaners you'll ever find on the market. 
As you can see here, it's a gel-like substance, and as soon as the chemical reaction occurs, it starts foaming up, and these brushes are probably the softest brushes I've ever used. And what happens is, as soon as you start agitating, they just foam up, and it removes the dirt. So this is a non-acidic pH neutral wheel cleaner and iron fallout remover. And it's also safe to use on most painted, polished, powder coated, clear coated and chrome rims. Now you can use it on the tyres, but because I'm a cheapskate, I like to save money. Hence the fact that I did use TFR instead. Okay, so I've now done the wheels. Now it's time to jump onto the bodywork. And for this, what I'm gonna do is just give it a quick rinse first of all, just with water on its own. Then we're gonna cover it in a chemical. So I'm gonna run it through chemical lance because I'm not using a snow foam today. And then we're gonna give it another rinse ready for a contact wash. First of all, I wanna start off by rinsing the car. Now this is a very important step that some people tend to skip when cleaning a car, which is okay if it's not too dirty, but for this one, it is a major essential part of the process. And the idea behind it is to blast off as much mud as possible as it sits in so many gaps and you're not gonna remove everything here. That's not the whole point of it, but the point is to make your life as easy as possible. So remember, water is cheaper than chemicals. Now the car's had the initial rinse, it's time to cover it in a blanket of chemical. Now when it comes to performance, I pretty much find identical results when I'm either using a snow foam or a TFR. So the idea of the chemical is just to assist in removing the dirt. You're not gonna spray it on and it's not gonna just magically remove every single speck of mud. It doesn't really work like that. While the chemical is dwelling, it's now time to get out the soft Yum Cars detailing brush, and that's really good at getting in those tighter areas like the lights, the grills, and the wing mirrors. With the brushing all done, it's now time to rinse off the chemically broken down dirt off the car. And like I said before, this previously had G-Technic Crystal Serum and XOV4 just last week. So the dirt just flew off the paintwork. And I have to say that the combination of those two products together is absolutely insane. If you want a real long-term protection, then I do suggest you go check out G-Technic. Jumping onto the washing stage, and the shampoo of choice today is Yum Wash because I love the suds, I love the slickness, and it smells absolutely gorgeous. Now even though the car is actually in the shade, I still like to do one side at a time. This is purely because of the fact it is a large surface area, and you still don't want any chemicals drying out, so make your life easier and do one side at a time, especially if you're working on your own. The towels you can see me using here are waffle weave towels from Yum Cars and it's really important to fold over the towel to reduce the pressure against the surface of the paintwork. So it's really important that you've got plenty of extra towels. One towel is not enough for a car of this size. And when you've got fiddly bits like ladders there, you've got a roof rack there, you've got lights there, you've got a wheel on the back, there's quite a lot. So you are gonna need a few different towels because you don't wanna start wiping a bit that might have a bit of grit in and then you wipe it over the bonnet and then all of a sudden you've got a scratch and you've got a problem. So just bear that in mind. If you are gonna do cars like this, make sure you've got plenty of towels to hand. 
The blue ones I use are from AutoSmart and these are mainly used for the door shuts and the fiddly little areas that you can't normally get and you don't want to risk damaging your better ones. So the blue ones sadly got demoted. So this car a couple of weeks ago actually had G-Technic Crystal Serum Light and then the day after it had XO V4 on top so it's well protected already. So for this all I'm going to do today is use Brilliance Hybrid Detailer and this is by Bear Car Care. So this is SiO2 infused and basically it would give it an extra layer of protection, it would give it a super gloss as well. So all I'm going to do is just give it a quick going over because like I said it just doesn't need anything else done to it today. So this quick detailer is one of the best in my opinion and Bear Car Care never disappoint when they bring out a product. Now this one adds gloss and it's incredibly simple to use. Just spray on, wipe off and you get instant incredible results. So this Brilliance Hybrid Detailer doesn't give you a massive long term protection but that's not the point of it all. The idea is to give you an instant shine that makes people turn their heads as soon as you're driving past in that car. It gives you the impression that it looks like it's had a full on machine polish. And it takes barely a few minutes to spray the entire car and the paintwork feels like glass as soon as you've applied it. Oh shut up stupid jet wash. Keeps going off whenever it wants. So I'm trying out my new camera today and this is a Sony AX43 4K camera and as you can see from the footage the products I'm using speak for themselves. So I've got some more exciting news for you right here so we have a brand new website which is live and it features product reviews and how to guides. Now as you can imagine I get sent a heck of a lot of products on a daily basis so I simply don't have time to film everything due to the amount of time that it actually takes to get a video out. So the website's just gone live and I will put a link in the description below where you can find it. And it's not just me doing it this time. There's going to be five of us who are going to be pushing loads of content out. So like I said, it's not going to be just reviews. It's going to be how-to guides. It's going to be business tips as well. So if you're part of the detailing community, do go check it out. And if that's not enough, why don't you go and check out our brand new fantastic Facebook group. Now, if you love detailing and you want to be involved with the community and you're too scared about talking about some of the things that you don't know how to do this, you don't know how to do that, and you just don't want to get any grief like you might get from other detailing groups, then do go check out the detailing network. Now this is a group that I'm personally running myself because I'm dedicated to helping the community so if I do see any negativity I will just ban the people straight away so at least it's going to be a safe place where you can interact without any of the drama that you might get from the other groups. So in previous videos I talk all about not using glass cleaner because sometimes you don't need it to get a smear free glass but today I thought I'd give Yum Glass Cleaner a go because I got everything else and I thought well if that's all been amazing why don't I just give this a go. So for me it actually smelt like black currant and what blew me away was the fact that I managed to combine this with using my brilliant way of cleaning glass and I got an even better finish. I was just, I was so impressed with it and it, I know sometimes when I clean a glass I think oh do you know what there could be a little smear but this was just crystal clear like I've never used a glass cleaner like this. The rubber mats just needed a TFR and a blast with a Karcher Expert and I didn't need to do any additional brushing either which was quite nice. For the tyres I'm using a Drifter tyre gel. This is also one of my favourites and this is from Bear Car Care. I'll put a link to them in the description where you can find this product as well. As you can see from the cars that I feature in my videos, I don't actually get those manky ones that are really filthy and dirty. This is about as bad as it gets for me. And before you say, oh, you're just lucky, let me tell you this. I've been there before. I've been there. I've done that. I've done all the bad ones. And now I have a recession proof client base because of certain strategies in place. So if you want more information, then do watch my business tips playlist on this channel where I talk about how I became successful and how a one man band can really make it in this detailing industry. My interior cleaner of choice is Yum Interior and I know I do feature quite a lot of Yum products but simply because they are very good. And if you've got something that works for you then just stick with it. So after four hours of hard graft here is the final results.
so there you have it guys one clean car and thank you very much for watching please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and stay tuned because we've got another video coming very soon